Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your true lovers in the demand. It is time to continue our adventure. We have freed ourselves from this wall. And as such we can now leave. Ooh, what's this? Ah, that's one of the tire irons. We don't need those. These are very square blood piles, but you know, that happens at times. It's a puppy. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Explosions always remind me of my childhood. Hopefully no Sabbat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. Are you the big bad wolf? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? On the beach, the blood was thinner than water. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. The Baron's sister is herself. Two minds, one face. Something to look forward to, eh? Not anymore. I see dead people. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. All I get to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Goodbye, Wolf. This is one of the people that the Prophet told me I can trust, so, you know, that's handy. Hello again. How are you doing? Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know of Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We did his words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. I seek to pull questions from your bubbling tone. What do you need? Do you see the Shadow Cloak Killer? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some caitiff getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the Sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Caitiff, the motherless dogs. <laughs> Pretty close to the mark. Caitiff are just kind of riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society, don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Team blooded and short lived? You said it. Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. So if you're, say, fifth generation, the blood is strong. If you're fifteenth generation, you barely qualify as a vampire. A thin blood. Thin blood, thinly seen, and yet they cast a long shadow. Long shadow? Yeah, I see what you're saying. You Malkavians and your damned insight. Most fledglings don't know anything about Gehenna. The falling of the eternal shadow. You don't know the half of it, kid. Gehenna, the day we all die. When our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world. Many believe we're living in the final nights. Cain? Creepy. Yep, that's him. Cain, the biblical brother killer. 
father of all vampires. May I mine your grey matter? Like what? Shine the light on the clans. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Demystify the Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Shine in the light on the clans? Oh, fun like the dark daughter of Janice. Janice's daughter? What the... Oh, Janice. The two-faced god. You mean Therese Vorman. Oh, man, you Malkavians are really messed up. Anyway, that was just silly vampire politicking fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. The dark daughter of Janice won... Oh, did you know that Janice is daughter shared the same skin? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. To my ears it sounded like a devilish top fight. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. I think Nasty Dude is strong to the green of drama. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Couldn't. Couldn't care less. Uh, is the task beyond your nice self? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. I seek to pull questions from your public though. Like what? Uh... Sh can you open my eyes to the sects? Sure, Cupcake. It's war out there, after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. But the praise of the Anarchs? The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? What do you know of the one with a number for name? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. I see someone with a mind's eye. Sure. Then we have the Chester Prince. Chester? You call him LaCroix a Chester? Uh, you'd uh, better watch that, Fletchling. Anyway, what am I going to say? Uh, he's the boss now. Can you open my eyes to the sects? Yeah. Clue me on the Camarilla. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. Okay, I have already looked at... I have not asked about the hunters. Hunters. Humans who hunt vampires. Most are half-cocked yokels. Who also say they've been abducted by UFOs. The real hunters are trained by secret societies, holy orders of the church that have existed since the Middle Ages. Fear them. Can you open my eyes to sex? Yeah. Tell me if the Sabbat. You ask me, the Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops. I'm dead. Now how did that happen? Shine the light on the glance? Sure. Lay bare the Pruya. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. <laughs> like that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Shine the light on the glance? Sure. Give me the goods on the gangrel. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Shine the light in the clans. Sure. Another clan? Mm. Tell me about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Fate shines well on it, Mr. Visage. 
The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Are the creeping worms a part of the Justice family? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. Do you like the Chester's family? The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. Shine the light on the clan. Sure. Let's go <clears throat> for the Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much. But I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Should I dive? Sure. Another. Mm. Tell me of the Dramir. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Dramir. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. Shine the light on the clan? Sure. Another clan. Mm. Tell me about the Ventru. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Alright, well, I will leave it to your black paths. Farewell. Very informative. Yes. I guess I should go home now, shouldn't I? Or should I go... Ah, oh, looks like Kane's here. I mean... Looks like the taxi is here. Yes. You take your piss. I am currently not that hungry. Plus there was a guy right behind him, so it would not have ended well. If I had decided to take a sip of the pizza just now. Alright. So, back home for a sec. Check my email. Also check my mail. Talk to Mercurio. And... Take the cab, I guess. Alright, this is... That. Email. Sunrise. Yes. Six. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't done so already. Alright, next. Oh. The White King moves to protect his pawn. Okay. Cool, cool. Right, no, ask button works just fine. So, I think we can grab a cab now. Oh, this bloke has gone away. And what happened here? Oh, right, the gallery. Had a bit of a break in, didn't it? Can I pick this lock now? Probably not. That's what, 8? Yeah. So I need to get it to natural 6. Going to have natural 5. Uh, I'm 1 XP away from some dexterity and 2 from more security. So I think I'll go dexterity next. And then I can come back here. Oh, uh, Mercurio is gone. So I cannot ask Mercurio about anything right now. Let's look at my journal. Journal should be H A, right? Nope. Quest log. Right. Report to Prince Lacroix and went through Tower Town Town. Everything next seems to be downtown. Technically. So let's go downtown. Right, the gap was on the other side of the street. Wait, what happened to the police now? They were here just a second ago. There's a whole bunch of police here. Huh? The only police officer is there hanging around with the homeless. Are you feeling at home, officer? Call it in. Hmm. Very strange. My opinion, anyway. Oh, birdies. Right, that's a dead end. So I guess I'm gonna go back between these streets. Wait. 
Was I able to open this door Stop or what? Uh, what? I saw an activation thing. And it confused me. Hmm. No? Can't end the megahertz computing. From this, we can, uh, you know, assume that we have further business in town. But for now. Do I have to talk to you? Yeah. Where to? Uh, get this big yellow beetle scuttling towards my destiny. And my destiny lies downtown. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Well, yeah. Ah, lick. <laughs> I wonder about their bloodlines. They seem more interesting than what we have available. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. What happened to 1 through 8? Same thing that happens to a lot of Anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Uh, your face is familiar. Do you have your own cereal? Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I like stories. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Well, we are now in town town. Excellent. I immediately wanted to go into a garbage bin. Because that's where I belong. Uh, and also... Since we don't have access to the asylum anymore. Well, I guess we do have access to the asylum. But I feel like we're not as welcome there now. You know what I mean? This is the place? Yeah, this is the place. Oh, so oh that's useful to know. Hello. You uh, look familiar, Missy. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwoods. Ah, well, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Missy? I didn't actually talk to you back in Santa Monica. Okay, big wig? No, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, Sebastian. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Many thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. You need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. I will stitch your name in my brain. Farewell. I will not ask him what he's a chunk of. That seems terribly rude. Oh. I was just about to invite the thing. Nice sticks. I dig them. Can I talk to you, sir? No. Can I grab your rank, sir? There you no. are. 
I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Cool. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Bloody Mercury do faces diner assassins full people. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? <laughs> and you say chump, I say where's the cliff? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? I ignore those whispers still more. The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. Help me understand. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? More than you know. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He wants me to wants me to find the lost round in this field of magic rectangles. Then you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs, clog the air and choke the local kine. I love humoring. I'm there. Give the Anarch community my regards. Hey, <laughs> hey, good one. Right, as if he has any regards for them. Bye, Chunk. Alright. I do have that one extra experience now, so I can get that dexterity. But I am currently not in Santa Monica, so I can't open that box. Oh well. well the taxi's right here, if I want to go back. I think we'll do some business downtown first, so thanks for watching. I'll see you then.